Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Wildermyth. We find ourselves in Morn Spring Threshery here on the cusp of dealing with uh, the last incursion and our four heroes are gonna make their way technically five if we count uh, our little companion to Charlie or our big companion to Charlie. Uh, but we're going to make our way back up here to Slim Punch Scales, where we were continuing on this journey for Mola, Charlie, and Zaruna. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Actually, because mm, Dahlia is not really a part of this, so why don't we come up to Wraith Hovel first? We'll all travel together. She can set up a, a final, um, or better yet, maybe we put her here. She can start building up defenses here, and then they can continue up. And pick her up on the way back. Let's do that. Let's gather everybody. Tier 3 defenses. We'll move everybody up. Alright, and then we'll do this with these three. There we go. As she continues to build those defenses. The story continues. Alright. A spooky cavern awaits them. Hey, I'm not set on going through with this, you know? I know, but I am. Look, don't feel guilty. I practically had to drag you here, right? They make their way down through the dark. Do you smell that? The smoke of old incense. It's moon spice. Burnt in antiquity for a blessed burial. That's what I've been smelling? Reminds me of the stuff old folks used to burn in with in Wraith Havel, Wraith Hovel, you know, around the New Year. Oh yes, sometimes then too. Anyway, look, half broken wall here, and a chamber on the other side of it. They're about to duck and sidle through a jagged crack in the ancient stonework. Was meant to be sealed, I guess. Mortar and stone crumble still more as they scrape by. How many generations ago, mortar comes away like cake paste? On the other side. What on earth is that? It looks like... I mean, he said it was buried. I didn't think he meant... Buried? It reads, Everlasting rest now cradles our bright hero, Ansel Arstatalis. Arst? Ansel Aristolus. That sounds more right. Aristolus. Who tore our world from the talons of a hungry evil and gave his life to free us from tyranny. Hmm. So this jewel we're meant to find, it has to be buried with his bounds. Hmm. Well, this guy doesn't really need it, so let's start digging. The pair of them dig in the dirt by the statue's feet. The cave air is cool, their foreheads steam, and they don't speak. Chop and scuff of shovels, echoes, grunts, and heavy breaths. Deeper and deeper, the hole widening, the soil rich smelling, smoky and sharp. And then, crack. Uh oh. <laughs> the statue's pissed off at them. In the earth where they dug, a green jewel glows brightly. This little gem is what Fidan wanted? This can trap a curse? We've already done the worst part. Might as well see it through. Mola? Hmm? What do you figure this means? The ghost shouts wordlessly and attacks. Spectral Hero, the apparition shouts and sweeps through the air, swinging a ghostly weapon that connects 
so that connects solidly enough. Ooh, yeah. I knew that we'd probably piss him off. All right, kill all enemies. Lucky's tomb. All right, so what do we want to do with this? We should move Charlie up. Best thing we could do with Charlie is probably put him in Guardian. Uh, we could move Sommelier up. Um, though they're not going to wall with them. No, that's probably okay. Move Sommelier up. Um, we get damage scenery. I think we're just going to go with Shoot. There we go. And then... Let's move Mola up here. And move Zaruna up here. And... Hopefully that doesn't... No, it's only going to hurt the, uh, the bad guy. There we go. So we actually shredded armor, which is awesome. And then let's interfuse... We can do Discus, Splinter Blast, Wild Grasp. I don't think we'll actually reach him, though. Maybe we'll go for Splinter Blast? Let's do that. And get rid of some of that armor. So maybe when he runs up, Charlie can whack him. Come on. There we go. That'll do it. Victory! Mola's leveled up. Awesome. Now a Bloodhorn Mystic. So Arches is changed from a turn engine action into a single action, which actually make it more useful. I haven't really found a use for Arches quite yet. Um, I feel like it's one of those things that's like you want to use it to specifically, because it like when you create the tree, it tangles people nearby it or enemies nearby it. So it doesn't really makes sense to use it until you have a couple enemies that you could tangle but then once it's up you can use it like a regular tree so there's a sense of that that's important but I don't know about upgrading it it hasn't been really doing much for us lately uh, we can do viciousness which means that her melee attacks deal plus one damage which again if we were making a uh, uh, whatever you call it like a, a spell blade right um, then that would be good, but I don't know if I really want her to be hitting a lot of people. Um, we could do Myth Weaver. Let's see, status is passive. Uh, there's plus one potency per interfused statue. 50% um, chance Mystic reflects damage while interfused with Garb. Oh, is this... Oh no, this is different. I don't know if we've used this on somebody before. Um, because if they're... If she's going to be messed, uh, or connected with, uh... A statue, then she gains potency. If they are with a uh, garb, then they could be potentially deflecting the damage, which is nice. And then they gain two more attacks. Um, for if she if they're going with books, then lore dump, I guess, is an attack that's happening, or greater construct, or greater, 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 greater constrict. Uh, is the upgrade to textiles. So, again, we'd have to find ourselves in more, like, cityscapes and things like that, which was where that would be useful. Um, or Ignite, which is also a really useful skill, creating uh, an interfused blade just out of the blue. Uh, but it has to be on a tile with debris on it. Hmm. <laughs> Ignite's useful. I kind of want to go with Mythweaver, just because I haven't... I don't think I've used Mythweaver... I cannot speak right now. I have not used Mythweaver yet. And um, I like the, the chance of, like, um, gaining potency and becoming more powerful and stuff like that. But again, if we keep finding ourselves in woods like this, it's not going to be very useful. So I guess I gotta kind of hope that we find ourselves in more situations where we're going to be dealing with statues and cloth and things like that. Um, whereas fire could be used in most any place. Hmm. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Um, it's a single action once per turn. And because it's already interfused with it. I'm going to go with Mythweaver. We're going we're gonna to go for the more complicated one and just try to and hope that that will actually be useful in these scenarios. Alright. The significance of the encounter will only become clear to them later. Ooh boy. 
Mola and Charlie take the long trip back to the cottage of the exile. Making good time, but mulling over all they've seen and done, doubt and confusion creep over them. Still, it's not enough to turn them from their course. Well, journey's end. That wasn't so bad, was it? Now the hermit just has to do his part. Aren't you speaking too soon? I'm speaking right on time. Trust me. Fast! A pair of penny wits comes a-calling. Oh, I fear a niche in my old feather nicks. Fidan, we're back. I know. Do I have to repeat the thing about my feather nicks? <laughs> Here it is. The Dremrod you sent us for. It's heavy. Makes me nervous, being honest. Mola displays the Dremerald they found buried under the stat hero statue. In the air it glows green and, slow and lowly pulses with sound like the beating of vast wings in an otherwise silent sky. Yes, that's the stone we need. How did you hear of this thing? You realize that what we had to do to get it? Wasn't it just buried in some old hero's tomb? Yeah. Right, well, but come inside. We'll set to work. <laughs> I was clearly not interested in that. Back in the exile's windowless cottage, he takes the jewel and coaxes open a sleepy old tome. Translucent pages whisper by old silver... Translucent pages whisper by old silverly... Silvery ink gleams in candlelight. Curses aren't something we normally see, you know. How hard is this? Yes, casting one is easier than removing one. The way releasing a bird from a cage is easier than getting back inside. Um, well, and that's depending on the cage, I should say. What exactly will you be bonding with? I must fuse with the jewel. And with you, Charlie. I'm ready now. Allow me to reach out to you. The implications of such a thing aren't entirely clear. But it seems too late for mistrust. Oh boy. Here we go. Fidan's face goes blank for a moment, and then the interfusion forms, first between him and the stone, next bringing Charlie in and locking them together in a strange, wobbly light. Charlie feels a shadow presence exit his body, leaving his heart and mind clear. There's a smell of fresh blood. For a moment, pain contorts Fidan's face, and wild colors swirl under his skin. And then the shadow passes into the jewel. The bonds interfusing them fade away. It's done. I'm free! He drops the jewel and gleefully crushes it beneath his foot. Next, the house explodes. Fidan stands tall amidst the wreckage. Ah, delicious morons, flagrant fools, feel this moment, remember this moment. Fadan, what? Oh, please, not Fadan. Call me Volta, Lord Volta of Grey Mountain. For I am the Vulture Lord himself. What? <laughs> Allow me to explain. In the days before the rise of the tree talkers, the star watchers, or the wave wandering poets, in those scorched and beautiful days, I was Volta of Grey Mountain, who conquered all the lands and peoples within my span. My soldiers were strong and plentiful as the stones. I stooped over every town, farm, and tower, plucked every gobbet of joy that pleased me. And my reign would have lasted forever, if not for a certain acne-scarred thing. A guy is what he was. Ansel Aristolus, his awful and cumbersome name. Disguised, he came to me with a beautiful jewel, lied to me. And as I looked upon the gem, he spoke a rhyme. My immortal soul poured from me. My essence was imprisoned within the jewel for eternity, leaving my body, this shell you see before you, powerless but alive. Over so many millennia, I roved for untold stretches of time. 
I was so weak I could barely eat, but I did hunger. Hunger was all I had. But then things changed. It was you, wasn't it? Yes. Around the time you were a child, Charlie, a mighty quake split the earth. The sealed chamber where Aristalis was buried with my powers must have broken. This allowed some of my strength to seep back to me. Unfortunately, the hallowed tomb still repelled my gaze, my steps, my efforts to attack it. Only someone with good intentions would be able to remove the jewel. Ingeniously, then, I laid a curse upon a child. One destined to be a hero, one capable of seeking out and exhuming the gem. Once retrieved, I would bind the curse into the prison in, my, in place of my own soul, freeing me entirely, and free me entirely and at last. Then it all began and ends with you. Oh, trust me, nothing's close to ending. Soon enough, your whole world will be reborn. As they move to attack, the man is gone. The Vulture Lord has been unleashed. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. So basically, we just released Lord Voldemort from his Horcrux, <laughs> is what that was. Oh, man. Quest complete. So, Mola gained some retirement agent. So, uh, Mola just... just leveled up again. Alright. She's now a blue horn mystic. So, let's see here. Riposte, Mola will counterattack after a successful, me successful melee attack... melee block or dodge. Okay. Mola deals plus one damage and has plus one range with range attacks. Bows no longer have a minimum range, which seems kind of odd for them because they're not using a bow. We could upgrade Mythweaver, which means that we gain plus two damage and plus three range to Lore Dump and plus one damage and plus one Hobble to Greater Constrict, which means speed is temporarily reduced. Um, and then Lightning Learning. So as a swift action, destroy a book or statue to grant an ally or self plus three potency that decays over three turns. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, that's adding an extra bit to that, and that would be really cool. So what's indignance? Mola's presence is charged against her foes, dealing two true damage to hostile creatures who enter adjacency with her for any reason. Ooh... So if anybody comes in close to attack, or for any reason, they gain two true damage, which goes past all um, armor and everything. Um, yeah, past all armor and warding. Hmm. Uh, I wish Indignance was more of a... It's more of a one of these other classes sort of thing, but... I think, I mean, it's good because then it's, um, ascent, ascent, essentially, essentially, it would be, um, sort of a deterrent to keep them away, but I don't think that they would know that that was happening. It just, uh, it might save her life if a, a low level enemy comes charging at her. Let's see here. Extra damage and hobble. Hmm. It's a swift action. I think I'm going to go for uh, upgrading Mythweaver. Let's just go all in on the Mythweaver thing. Alright. So. Let's take a look here. Um, Alright. So we really don't need to go up here. We're going to head down here. She's still working on this, so we might actually just bring everybody in. And have them come and join her to build that out, and then continue down to this last area over here. So, that's 50 days until the next um, Calamity card, and then we've got some time before the next incursion. Alright, so this is now protected, so let's go and scout this area.
Everybody down to scout out the area. Have I mentioned how much I love that there's a coast here? <laughs> it just gives a, in your mind, it gives a completely different feel for what this land is like. Windy Timberland has been revealed. All right. Locked Assault Chromel Forge. We must achieve other object objectives first. So, clear all hostile sites. Oh, so we do have to get rid of this one. Okay. Let's scout this one out. Travel back up. All right. Um, I think... More the guy. Why don't we... Oh, we only have three LP... Um, so I think we're gonna just we're gonna just have to take this. This is interesting. The Thrixel are perplexing to me. This one's called a bard, so I'm just like so curious of what that means. I'm sure I'll find out eventually. This monster is now stronger. The monster is now stronger. Okay, so we're just gonna leave that alone, because if we get the option to recruit somebody else, I would love to be able to recruit somebody else. We'll see if that's actually an option for us. Alright, what's up here? Free Rouster with Willows has been revealed. So, that's still locked because we need to clear all hostile sites, which I'm guessing is also this. So let's go ahead and patrol first. Let's go! So we're probably going to have another incursion before we are able to assault the final objective here. Free Rouster Willows has been cleared of infestation. Okay. Um, Ogre League, o Auger League, Auger League. Damn! All right, let's go ahead and assault them. Everybody's full health. We're all good. Let's do this. Everybody in. Level ups all around. Company of Crows. The gold-bellied frogs whistle no more in the gloaming. Then fades the young man by the stream and his lady rowing towards him. Here I go again, gloom gathering, how tiresome my ways are to me. I have seen the end, watched it come and watched it pass, many times. I know something of what lies ahead. Dalia and Mola wait for the others to come up the road, taking shelter in an abandoned place. They've, cha they've chanced on another traveler. Then you're open to questions? There is little I share, and still less I share freely. Why? I've been forthcoming. Haven't asked a price. Yes. You step fully into each word you say, but my words are too dangerous for me to match you. Rain chatters on the thatch. I see things written in the turning of storms, in silver wet letters, in shaking pages of rain. I read of dreams left behind this yandering. I read of dooms the years intend. I read until my eyes shine, my stomach roars. I have read of you. I know what you are meant to be. Hmm. I'm wondering if she's with this raven lord. Not sure I believe in fate. Hmm. No one demands you believe. You only must endure what happens. The old storage building smells like ancient hay, moist rock, and the burning pine pitch of their torch. The woman's robe moves like it's a part of her. She shrugs. Fortunes were given to crows to tell, and crows were kind enough to share their gift with witches. A witch, well paid, shares fortunes with the wayblind. Hmm. So we've come across a witch here. What do we want from her? Let's see. Do we do future for a drop of blood? Do we transform her and give her wings? Oh. Or our work needs hope, not crows, not dooms, talk, sorry. So it looks like either I can 
either she can go full into transformation or there's some other kind of transformation that will happen regardless. Ooh. I'm trying to like I'm I'm trying to roleplay this. I'm feeling like one of these two options is interesting. Um actually I feel like Dahlia would either take the damage for the future or she would sort of talk down the witch because she's so confident in herself. Oh god, but that's probably going to be a bad thing, but it's like I'm 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 leaning towards that just because of the roleplay aspect. I feel like that's what Dolly would do. Our work needs hope. Our work needs hope, not crows, not doom talk. Sorry. Have you ever heard of the flint break law, or the flint beak law? Feather for flesh, and favor for corn. Song for song, and scorn for scorn. I didn't mean it as scorn. She's more sense. She's more sensitive than she seemed. Silence puddles where they stand. After a while, Mola moves her feet. Anyway, I'd just as soon sleep, so that's fine. No harm done, I guess. The woman says nothing. Her eyes, deep behind her mask, are like faraway torch specks in a wild land. They leave you with shapeless unease. Night passes. The storm roars. Spitting rain and light, grumbling and restive, the woman's face doesn't change. It can't be said whether she slumbers or not. Dahlia and Mola mean to take turns, but neither of them can sleep, until exhaustion finally claims both at once. A blustery fever bends Dahlia's dreams. Hem, drem, draw, go! She goes searching for faceless names in shadow place. A castle looms distant. A hope she can no longer visit. A home she can no longer visit. The sky is paling when the downpour stops. The world is dripping, and she walks out unseen. <coughs> oh God. Ogre League Dam is where the day's battle will be. That feels like a small concern suddenly. Hey, Mola, there you are. Dahlia with you? Couldn't find you in the rain, had to camp. Oh god, she's got a crow head. No, she looks so miserable. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> she looks so sad. Oh god, I wonder if I picked the other option if she would have gained wings instead of a head. Or if this is just kind of how that goes. Like, if you have to gain the head first and then the wings. Oh, that's so funny, though. Oh, man. Poor Dahlia. She didn't mean it as an insult. She just was like, we don't need that. We're good. All right, so we've got these three. I'm guessing that means that there's going to be some sort of crazy on the other side of this. But maybe not. Maybe there's just these three we have to deal with. All right. So she's got Peck now, and she still has Guardian. It's funny, though, because her, her spear kind of looks like a feather. Alright, what are our options? Let's look at this. So, we got rocks, we got buckets, we don't really have anything that um, that Mola can use with any of her new stuff, which is exactly what we were afraid of happening. No statues or anything. There's a tree, we could do wild grass, but there's a bra brazier. Um, why don't we try to make, to do arches? So let's move Mola up. Move her here. Hopefully this is far enough. Can I not do arches here? That's weird. So if I do that, then she'd be pinned. Or then that thing would be pinned. Why don't we do wild grasp and try to pin this thing? It looks like it might actually grab both of them. No. Ooh, what is that? Storm throat. We don't know what that thing is yet, so the better... Probably the better one to pin... There we go. It's pinned now. Oh, this one's the one that has the uh, the hawk on its shoulder. So we don't really know. Let's see. Stormthroat. As a swift action, Stormthroat sends their bird to an enemy where it deals damage each turn until removed. Great. Uh, so it can, even though it's pinned, it probably will still do that on its turn. Battle yell. Prompt an attack from a Dravan stump or dart within five tiles. Okay. 
So, um, so basically they can force one of these two individuals to attack an extra time. When they've got extra armor, and they've got Dwarven Blood, um, which regenerates their health at the end of each turn. Great. Um, alright, so let's go for Sommelier. Can you move forward? Why don't we go ahead and just put you forward, and let's shoot the Stormthroat. Because we might be able to just deal with this guy right off the bat. Um, let's see, what about Dahlia? Can Dahlia... Dahlia can move here, which then um, we can have Guardian, because then she's got a spear. Charlie, I can't move any closer, so I think I'll move Charlie here. Um, we can engage this thing as a free action here, and then Guardian, and then I'll move Zaruna up, and let's see if we can't... I don't have a through shot here, but maybe we can do... It's not going to do a lot of damage. We could also try to Silk Step. Um, why don't we Silk Step... Actually, that's a good question. Can we... It doesn't look like I can shoot from there. Maybe? It doesn't look like I can shoot from there. Like, it won't let me shoot across. So why don't we just... Let's go for the Silk Step and... Um, and hope that uh, we can get it on the next turn. Okay, there's the bird. Stormthroat bird. Ooh, boy. Oh, interesting. I forgot that that one's a, uh, a ranged one. So, okay. So, Mola's being harassed by the bird. Minus one speed, take one shred or damage at the start of turn. Okay. Shoe bird. <laughs> Remove the Dwarven bird from yourself or an adjacent ally. Uh, what about Mola? So, you can also shoe bird. Um, what if we interfuse... What is this? The wagon? We can splinter blast the storm throat, probably killing it. Or scalding rain. I like that. Let's do that. Let's do scalding rain here. There, that one's out. Okay, so bird is still a problem. So let's go to Dahlia. Shoe bird is a single action, so at least that gets rid of that. And then if I move, then that is still a problem. So let's go ahead and move... Let's move you back. And let's shoot this stump thing. Then we'll go to Dahlia and we'll do Guardian, because that thing's going to probably move in. Um, we can engage with a free action here. I'll also do Guardian there. And then you... Because um, this is partial cover. And this is also partial cover. This is full cover. Um, if I were to shoot you, it would go through all of that, but it would still be a problem, potentially. So why don't we do this? We'll put you there, and then we will shoot. Oh, you dodged. Well, that was a problem anyway. Okay. There we go. That guy's at least done. All right. Um, let's go ahead and bring her in here. There we go. I like that. Okay, so we didn't have to do with anything over here. Oh, come on. You're so close to leveling up. You found Fox Dirk a friendly beard. A friendly, <laughs> friendly bend. Let's see, a well-made dagger. Um, does all these things. Okay. I probably would say, I don't know that that would do, I mean, it's going to do less damage than Charlie's Root Club. We really need to get Charlie a better weapon. Um, I guess really what it comes down to is we probably would give it to Zaruna in place of the Skinning Knife, because this is a better dagger. So if we decided to have them go for, like, backstabbing damage and whatever, I mean, we could always get an extra ingot. But it is better than the skinny knife, so let's go ahead and go for that. Oh, I forgot you've got the uh, the throwing um, throwing axe as well. We need to work on that. Let's call this the friendly beard. <laughs> friendly beard. Fox Dirk of friendly beard. All right. Breath is precious before battle. 
It's usually afterwards that questions start to come. Charlie, what is it? Draven snout sticking up the grass, stinking up in the grass. I prefer to find some better ways to f better way to phrase the question, but what happened? So he noticed. Time accustoms to ourselves over and over as we change. Some adjustments take longer than others. Oh boy. All right, so now we've got a haunt, which looks like a backstabbing, sniv snivelly kind. All right. So there's crows over here, which I think is interesting. So that was just in scouting out this area. We haven't, uh, we haven't even secured Ogre Auger Leak Dam. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh no, sorry, that was the attack. This, uh, so we just need to um, set this up. Um, burn was not useful. Investigate thoroughly. Let's get all the information. Done. Let's get all the stuff. Hopefully we find some cool items. Maybe we find a new weapon for Charlie. Alright. Sight safe and knowledge gained. Thorough delving provides... Uh, it's proven rewarding. Always strikes me how much there is still to find. To know. It's about heartwoods, hides, and fabrics. Talisman of faith. An ancient charm to hang around your waist. Um... Hmm. So what's our health looking like? Six, eight, eight, seven. Maybe we'll give it to Zaruna. Yeah, that goes with her attire. That'll help her survive if somebody like comes after her. Um, I don't know that I want to waste time on building up defenses over here. I'm gonna see if I can try to get here and do the assault. Um in that time before the next incursion comes. So let's go ahead and go and patrol. It's gonna take 45 days. I think that we could probably swing this. Hopefully everybody heals as we're walking. Crow head, ridiculous. All right, the enemies advance their plans. I think we're just gonna go ahead and take what we what we got here. Let's keep the legacy points. It's gonna be bad, but it's always gonna be bad. Alright, continue the patrol. Let's get rid of that. Let's bring this down to a strength of three. Alright, here we go. Windy Timberland has been cleared of infestation. Crown Mel Forge. Let's go and assault it. Alright, y'all. This is it. Dahlia. Hmm. They seem to have the place surrounded. And they're, and they're not exactly being subtle about it. I can hear their noise from here. What do you think they're so agitated about? It's a forge. They're probably on the prowl for spare parts or something and hit the jackpot. Whatever it is, if they're excited about it, I'm not. Hmm. So when it comes to the actual approach... Let's see, do we stick together and push in? Or if, or they surround the forge, so we surround them. I think let's stick together and push in is probably the best option. We need all the defense we can manage. Think of it this way. Stories about easy battles are boring. 